Have you ever wondered what would happen to the Joker if he ever went to Metropolis and picked a fight with Superman? Well, I have the story for you today. It's a short and fun little story that also tackles the idea of what if Batman's villains ended up in Metropolis to fight Superman and how it would go. In reality, most of his villains wouldn't last that long, but it's a pretty funny story, so I thought I'd share it with you. Enjoy. We start the story with Joker right on top of the Daily Planet waiting waiting for someone. And that someone would be Superman. Superman would eventually fly up to the Daily Planet where he would find the Joker, and Joker would start making fun of Superman, claiming that Superman is too bright and happy, and he's more used to Gotham City where everyone shops at the same hot topic. However, Superman quickly cuts him off during one of his jokes, and he tells him that he's here to ensure that he doesn't detonate any bombs, and he's also here to talk to the Joker, because that was one of his demands. He then tells the Joker that the police are downstairs waiting for him, and everybody in the building has been evacuated. Joker then threatens to detonate several different bombs around Metropolis, and Superman asks what his demands are. However, he tells Superman that he doesn't really have any demands, and he's kind of new to the whole criminal thing, and that he wanted to give it a go in Metropolis to see how it would end up. But Joker ends up saying that one of his demands was actually met, meeting Superman, so he thinks he'll just detonate the bombs now. But Superman doesn't believe him. After doubting the Joker, Joker would become extremely offended and start making fun of Superman, but each joke he would tell, Superman would keep laughing. He would become extremely extremely more and more annoyed, and eventually tells Superman that he doesn't think that he's his demographic. He's more into the brooding, silent type. And after a while, Superman kind of gets bored of the Joker, and Joker doesn't take this lightly. Joker would then get even more mad and say that Superman is just a guy in pajamas that can fly. What is so cool about him? Meanwhile, in Superman's eyes, he just seems really buttered. Joker would then reach for the detonator and try to blow it up, but Superman would quickly tell him that he shouldn't do that, while holding all of the bombs. Joker would then threaten to detonate the men anyway, but Superman would tell him that it would be really dumb, saying to Joker that in the time that it would take to blow up the bomb and destroy the building, he could literally fly down and repair the entire building and stop the bomb from exploding it wouldn't really mean much. While also telling the Joker that if he ever returns to Metropolis again, it will be the end of his act. Saying to Joker that he doesn't have a code like Batman. He'll kill if he has to. Joker would become enraged and start saying things that he couldn't follow up with, and Superman would just start laughing at him. Until he would finally have enough of him and tell him to get the hell out of his city. Eventually, the Joker would leave the Daily Planet where he would find a bunch of SWAT teams waiting for him, and say that Metropolis is boring. Superman would then angrily fly into the Batcave to find Batman, demanding to know why Batman let the Joker into Metropolis in the first place, and Batman would reply that it was a test. Superman would tell Batman to never test him again, and if anything, he put more lives at stake letting the Joker into Metropolis. He has no room to indulge his habits, and if Joker ever sets foot in Metropolis again, he won't ever leave. And after this, Superman would fly off into space and chuckle at a joke Joker made about them all shopping at the same hot topic. And that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a like down below, and also comment what you would like me to cover next. I really like to look at what you guys suggest. Thank you again. See you later.